Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, today we're having some issues getting some people joining into games on my stream. So I thought I'd uh, set up a video showing you how to uh, troubleshoot setting up your game ranger to be able to play online. So once you get into game ranger, it'll look something like this. Hopefully, a lot more games there at the time. So this is what you're looking for. When you go to join a game, however, Sometimes you'll get a waiting for host issue. Now, the first thing you gotta do with that, the best way, get all these instructions. If you don't wanna be listening to my voice while you're trying to figure this out, always come into the Stronghold Crusader community on Steam. Uh, under guides, Firefly Studios have posted an official multiplayer guide. And you can just come through down to troubleshoot. We way down here, yeah, troubleshoot. So I'm going to follow more or less follow these instructions to uh to show you how they all work. Uh, this one I'm not isn't wasn't our issue today, but if you need to en enable direct play, it's pretty simple. You just need to turn off our Windows features in your control panel. Unable to connect issues. What we were having today. So first off, you want to make sure that it's not your firewall. I'm going to go into my control panel. I'm putting this over here so that I can see the that path to it, system security. Probably different because I'm using Windows 10. Um, Windows firewall. Not the right place. Can't find it. Easy way to do it. Firewall. Jump into the uh, thing. Goes firewall. All right. This looks pretty close to this one here. So I'm currently set to be on a public net public network. That's fine. It doesn't matter which one you are, but do note which one it is. Now the first thing you can do. This is not recommended to stay, but you can switch off. Uh, your firewall. Turn off on whichever net network. So as I said, we were on the public network. So click turn off. Okay. Jump into a game through Game Ranger after this happens. And if this is the problem, then you should be able to uh, play everything should work. If you've confirmed that this is indeed your problem, come back here and switch it on. First thing, back on. You do not want to leave that down. That's what this step is. After testing, we re-enable. The solution is to allow it through the firewall. I'm going to do that. Allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. down here and show that I've actually got Stronghold Crusader Extreme and Stronghold Crusader. So to add it here, if it doesn't show up here, just click allow another app, browse to the app, find the .exe file, open that up and click add. I've already got it here, so make sure both of these, well in this case public is ticked because I was using the public network. If you're on the private network, make sure that one's ticked. If that is ticked, that should fix your problem. Now, if the switching off your firewall did not fix it, there is one other option to go for. We're going to close this one up. Um, sometimes other antiviruses get in the way. So that is another thing. You can try switch off your antivirus and see if that helps. If that still does not help, uh, I want to go with the router configuration. This is from, so you can click on this link here, or this link here to go to it. You can also just use this piece. This information here is all you actually need. What we need to do is go into your router, 
So to find out where your router is, I'm going to open a command prompt window. Type IP config. I care about the default gateway. In my case, 192.168.0.1. So go back into my browser, open up a new tab, 192.168.0.1. Then you're going to need to find out what your uh, username and password is. A common default is admin admin. So try that. If that does not work, uh, Google the make or model of your router to find out what it, what it is. My one, it is quite a long and complicated password. It's what came default because it's supplied by my ISP. And they gave they gave me the information with the password it came with. It. Now that I'm in, this is going to look completely different to you, if you unless you've happened to be on an Optus uh, router, it's going to look completely different. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to just click all these settings until you find something saying port forwarding. I'm going to click on that because I know that's where I'm going. This is what you want to find. Anything that says port forwarding, you're in the right place. Now, if you have the option to enable UPnP, switch that on. That allows games, like a Game Ranger, to set up their own rules. These ones here were all set up by Game Ranger. Now, we don't want to use those default ones. What we're going to do is we're going to create our own. Uh, set up. So I've already got these ones set up, but we are going to be using that second link that you clicked is right here. So TCP uh, 2300, 2400, and uh, 47, Also the same numbers that are in here. And come back here, go to my gateway. So I'm going to you give it a random name. Oh, Crusader. Other. Uh, nothing in this case. That. So you want to go TCP, UDP, whatever option you have. I'm going to have this in the background. Make this a bit uh, easier to see. Be both. Let's start with the TCP at the top here. Uh, I will just I'll, I'll show you my settings. For each one. So this one here is that four seven six external host. In my case, it's star. That's everything. That means everybody. If you've got any default rules already set up, follow the that format. Internal host, if they ask you for these this number as well, you're gonna to come to command prompt. You're gonna have a look at IPv4 address. So in this case it is 192.168.0.13. That's what I'm gonna enter that into this. 192.168. 0. We're going to go back to this list. External port. Basically, you want to put the same number. If you've got both these options, you're going to put it same number in both. So 47624. 47624. If you are asked for a range on one of these, the you can just type that to I put the same number in for the start of the range and the end of the range and that should cover it. I'm gonna hit click add. It's gonna have a conflict for me because I already have one created for this. But otherwise that would have added in and it'll be all working. The second one I want to be putting on is TCP UDP. That means it's gonna do both of these two lines at the same time. 
if you don't have TCP dash UDP, you're gonna have to do a rule for TCP and another rule for UDP exactly the same. So if we're gonna go TCP UDP, we're gonna look at this as our ports are two three hundred all the way up to two four hundred. That's gonna be a range. So anything that comes in on any port between four hundred is gonna be allowed to come through to talk to my computer. And we're going to click add and I'm going to get this same port conflict because I've already got this created. That is all, but that is, if that, once you've hit, hit that, click apply. And again, this may not look, this will not look the exact same for you, but it's going to, might be, a, take a bit of uh, fluffing around, checking through all the different uh, settings. The alternative is to Google port forwarding on your model of router and that should find a another tutorial that will tell you how to do this on your particular router these numbers that are the key feature here that 2400 2300 to 4400 and the 46 47 62 sorry if you got all that set up and you've hit apply that should now fix your problem you can now you should now be able to go into game ranger Join a game and get in without any problem. Hopefully that solves your problems. Uh, let me know if it, if you have any issues with that. Just uh, comment, put in the comments. If this helped you, like the video, subscribe. I stream Stronghold Crusader every weekend, Friday night, 9 p.m. GMT, and Sunday morning, 10 a.m. GMT. You know, it's Friday night, 8, 8 p.m. GMT. Sorry, let me get that straight. 8 p.m. GMT on Friday night, 10 a.m. Sunday morning GMT. I'd love to have you hang out. Let me know if this helps, or if it doesn't, let me know, and I'll see if I can see what I can do to help. But for the most part, this uh, file, which is provided by Firefly Studios, on the Steam uh, community, I'll just show you how to get to that. For me, I've got Stronghold Crusader here. But you can also set what we got here stronghold data hd click it's going to come up click guides multiplayer official multiplayer there'll be some extra information on how to do that set that up in here so if if it doesn't work by following the instructions that I followed you, maybe come in here and see if there's anything else that you've missed. And uh, hopefully you're all sorted. Thanks for watching.